first of all can I say how beautiful this cover is uh, the colors are so rich and there's um, little details over the top of it and an overlay if you can see that the warrior maiden is an historical Christian fiction retelling of the fairy tale Mulan it's not a fairy tale that I'm familiar with so I can't tell you whether it's very similar to the Disney film or the original story um, but I really enjoyed this book. Uh, this is the first uh, Melanie Dickerson book that I've read and I will definitely be looking at some of the other ones. It's set in Lithuania, Germany and Poland in 1423. This is a sweet romance mixed with a slightly gory action story so if sword fighting and romance is your thing this is definitely one for you. It's a clean story so there's no sex scenes, there's no swearing uh, but there is some violence as it's a story about war and fighting. Mulan is a determined and apparently beautiful heroine who is a bit clumsy at the beginning and also has a bit of a temper. She has also uh, trained herself to be a good archer. The other main character Wolfgang is a German Duke's son. So I believe his family is part of the other stories in this series. He wants to go to war to please his father and to protect their allies from the Teutonic Knights and I hope I've pronounced that correctly. <laughs> the story begins when Mulan disguises herself as a man so that she can go to war and fight in her father's place because her father has um, become sick and just died and if the overlord finds out about this then they're going to be thrown out of their house. As a soldier she faces many challenges such as learning how to sword fight and keeping her identity as a woman a secret. The style is easy to read and there's this kind of simplicity or innocence to the the narrative which I found refreshing. It is 314 pages long and there are discussion questions at the back if you are part of a book group. I really enjoyed the book. I found it fairly fast paced throughout. The Christian aspects of the story were really strong which I really enjoy in a Christian fiction. The characters prayed and talked about the Bible and they seemed to have a really committed faith. I loved how central that faith was to their lives. This is actually the ninth book I think in the Hagenheim series uh, but it was the first book that I've read by Melanie Dickerson. I didn't feel like I had a problem jumping in at this point. Uh, there were references to other stories throughout the book but as they're all fairy tale retellings I didn't really feel like there were any spoilers uh, because I'm familiar with those stories already. I've already pre-ordered the next book in the series which I believe is The Piper's Pursuit and I think that it's coming out in the USA in December and possibly in the UK it's in January. In the meantime I will definitely catch up on some of the other books in the series and probably start from the beginning and work my way through. So all in all I, I really enjoyed this book, I rated it 4.5 out of 5 stars. Have you read this book? If you have, let me know what you thought of it in the comments down below. Have you read any other books by Melanie Dickerson? Um, which ones do you recommend that I read next? Let me know down below. If you're interested in seeing more videos by me, then don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye!